Hi guys, I'm going to show you my favorite shortcuts in After Effects. If you use any other, feel free to comment down below. So the first shortcut I use very often, obviously, is a spacebar. So it's, I hit the spacebar and automatically it's going to start the playback. And if you hit the spacebar again, it's going to stop the RAM preview. And also if you hold spacebar, you can go around uh, and grab your screen. Next shortcut I use very often is Command Shift D or co Control Shift D on Windows. So if I go around here, select my layer, Command Shift D, and it's cut the layer in half, and you can delete the second layer if you want. So this is a very useful basic shortcut I use very often. So there is another way to cut your layers. So if you hold Alt and use the square bracket on the right hand side on your keyboard and press it, it's going to cut your layers and it's not going to create another layer. So it just automatically cuts it. So it is, this one is a, a bit faster way to cut your layers and also it works if you hold Alt and click on or press the another square bracket it's going to cut your layers on the on the left hand side so this is a very useful and fast way to um, edit your layers command shift D is very useful as well but as you can see it creates it snap your layers in two half but if you don't want to do that just cut your layer just alt and square brackets so this is a really cool one so the next shortcut is a simple Wii, it's a selection tool so you can grab it from the toolbar as well and this is a tool to grab objects and grab layers to reposition them. Okay the next cool uh, shortcut we're going to use is also uh, square bracket brackets but individually if you press the left, hand, left uh, square brackets your selected layer going to snap to your needle at the beginning. So if you and go and hit your right square brackets, your selected layer is going to snap at the end. So your all of the, your layers will be on the left hand side. Next shortcut I use very often, and uh, pretty much this is a basic uh, shortcut. It's uh, if you select your layer and hit P the position going to revealed uh, or exposed and after you can hit uh, the stopwatch and you can straight away start you can start to animate your layer or you can if you hit s the scale going to come up and you can start to animate if you hit r which is a rotation you can start to animate the rotation and if you hit t the opacity going to be revealed and you can start to animate your layer. This is a very cool way to uh, create keyframes because if you if you use a standard way, go into your arrow and uh, go into transform, and you know it's like at least two, th three clicks. And also, if for example, if I press P, and if I start to create a keyframe, but you want to create if you want to create a scale you hold shift and I press s and the scale going to come up next to the position which is very cool because uh, <clears throat> this way if you have like 50 or 100 layers um, as you can see these two keyframes takes just a very small space but if you if you use a layer like this and you have if you have multiple layers and if you do this for individual layers, your <coughs> timeline end up like crazy long and it's, it's very <coughs> hard to see what's going on. But if you use only your shortcuts like P or S, here P and S again, you can shorten the, the, <coughs> the layers as you can see, it takes up much less space even if I have more layers so if i want to add rotation shift and hit r and i can see if i want to add the, the transparency settings i hold shift and hit t 
and opacity come up and you can straight away start you can start to animate okay so the next one is a very important shortcut I use very often which is a U <clears throat> um, if I for example if I use my keyframes as a standard way to expose all of the settings uh, for example scales and rotation and opacity here I'm not using them but still takes up lots of space uh, and if you have lots of layers it can be uh, annoying but for the U if you even if you not select everything if you press U it's only going to show your animated layers or animated settings to use you after you animated a couple of layers and it's going to be much clearer what's going on on your timeline so the next one is if you select your layer even if you select all of them and hold alt and hit home on your left hand side on your keyboard everything going to snap into the first keyframe so the next shortcut is one of my favorite because I use this very often uh, it's all about uh, easy ease so if I have uh, linear movements here and if I want to quickly uh, easy ease my keyframes I select them and hit F9 which is going to create a default easy ease animation which is works most of the time and if you use Mac and it, this F9 doesn't work for you you have to go into system preferences and keyboard and make sure you check this box I think you know how to grab a marker from the right hand side and bring it to the front and you can if you double click in the marker you can say anything here to mark your position here and this is a good guidance for you but if you select your layer and hit the little star uh, on your numpad it's going to create the little mark on your layer it's working the same way if you double click a marker you can um, add any any in information for these layers okay so the next one is a little dot on your numpad so I use this one when uh, I have like a very heavy After Effects project file and I have uh, lots of layers and the RAM preview is really hard to uh, RAM preview your animation but you want to listen just only your voice server or your audio and hit the little dot on your numpad it's going to preview only your audio for your animation hit the dot again going to stop okay the next one is B and N on your keyboard so I think you are very familiar already with the work area at the top so this gray bar here it's your working area so you can adjust the working area with uh, this little handle here and you can adjust the, the working area on the right hand side with this blue handle here also but the fast way is hit B it's going to snap the the handle here on the left hand side to your needle and if you go here and if I hit N the handle going to snap to your right hand side so this is a very cool and fast way to okay I want to work in this area at the moment and just run preview this area the hit 0 or space both of them works for the RAM preview okay the next one is also very useful it's a page up and page down buttons so if I go closer you can see if I zoom on very close each frames if I go and page down you can go forward in uh, one frame if I hit page down you can go and go back in time with a needle okay the next one is minus and plus on your keyboard so plus is zooming in into your timeline minus is zoom out this is a very useful and fast way I see lots of motion designers are using this but most of the time I use this um, slider at the bottom also you can grab this handle this is a zoom as well uh, on the timeline but there is a plus and minus on your keyboard uh, which is very handy 
So next very useful shortcut I use very often if I finish my animation if and if I want to render something hit alt command alt command M and the media encoder is going to be opened so if I click on this as you can see here is my render settings ready to go the, but you can find this um, settings or feature if you go to composition and add to Adobe Media Encoder Q, Alt Command M or Alt Control M on Windows. So the last uh, shortcut I'm going to show you guys it's it's all about anchor point. So if you have your shape and you want to reposition your anchor point, you can do that using the anchor point tool or hit Y on your keyboard and reposition your anchor point into the middle but if you want to be very you know you want to put it exactly in the middle you have to hold command on mac or control on windows and it's going to snap automatically in the middle i hope you find this useful if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already until then see you guys in the next one